Hi, welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to discuss about interview questions on electrical circuit. First one, the resistivity of the conductor depends on area of the conductor, length of the conductor, type of the material, none of this. The answer is type of the material. Why? Because the resistivity is the property of a material defined as the resistance between two opposite faces of a cube of a material of unit volume. That is why resistivity is only the unique property of a material and does not depend upon the dimension of any piece of material. The same can be explained as uh, rho is equal to m by n e square t where rho is the resistivity, m and e is the mass in charge of the electron is the relaxation time. All these are properties of a material and independent of length and cross-sectional area. The second question is, to obtain a high value of capacitance, the permittivity of dielectric medium should be low, zero, high, unity. The answer is high. Why? Because the expression of capacitance is sh as shown below. Hence, it is seen that the capacitance of a capacitor is directly proportional to the permittivity of the medium used as dielectric. Therefore, to obtain a high value of capacitance, the permittivity of dielectric medium should be high. Third question. The unit of resistivity is ohm, ohm meter, ohm per meter, ohm per meter square. The answer is ohm meter. Why? Because we know that R is equal to rho L by A, where that can be rewritten as rho is equal to R A by L where the unit of resistance is ohm meter, unit of area is meter and unit of length is meter. So this concludes that the unit of resistivity is ohm meter. Fourth question, instantaneous power in inductor is proportional to the, the options are product of the instantaneous current and the rate of change of current, square of instantaneous current, square of rate of change of current, temperature of the inductor. The answer is product of the instantaneous current and the rate of change of current. Why? Because the instantaneous voltage across the inductor is expressed as the product of the inductance and rate of change of current through it. Power is expressed as product of current and voltage. Hence, instantaneous power in an inductor is proportional to the product of instantaneous current and rate of change of current through it. Fifth question, the voltage induced in an inductor is represented as the options are product of its inductance and current through it, ratio of its inductance to current through it, ratio of current through it to its inductance, Pro product of its inductance and rate of change of current through it. The answer is product of its inductance and the rate of change of current through it. Why? Because the instantaneous voltage across the inductor is expressed as the product of inductance and a rate of change of current through it, as it does not allow any certain change of current through it. Voltage induced in an inductor is as shown below. Sixth question. Absolute permittivity of dielectric medium is represented as options are epsilon naught, epsilon r, epsilon r by epsilon naught, epsilon r into epsilon naught. The answer is epsilon r into epsilon naught. Why? Because the relative permittivity of the medium is defined as the ratio of actual permittivity of the medium to the absolute permittivity of air or vacuum. Absolute permittivity of air or vacuum is expressed as epsilon naught. Hence, the absolute permittivity of dielectric medium is represented as the product of relative permittivity of the medium and absolute permittivity of air or vacuum. Seventh question, magnetic flux has a unit of, the options are Newton, Ampere turn, Weber, Tesla. The answer is Weber. Why? Because the unit of magnetic flux is called Weber in honor of famous scientist Wilhelm Edward Weber. Eighth question, if all the elements in a particular network are linear, then the superposition theorem would hold when the excitation is, the f options are DC only, AC only, either AC or DC and impulse. The answer is either AC or DC. Why? Because superposition theorem can be applied for both AC as well as DC excitation to calculate the voltage or current calculation. 
it holds for both DC and AC excitation if the circuit is linear. But superposition theorem is not applicable for power calculations. Ninth question. In balanced bridge, if the position of detector and source are interchanged, the bridge will still remain balanced. This can be explained from which theorem? The options are reciprocity theorem, Thevenin's theorem, Norton's theorem, compensation theorem. The answer is reciprocity theorem. Why? Because when response to excitation is constant, even though we interchange the excitation and responses, then the reciprocity theorem is verified for the given network. Tenth question. If P is the power of a star connected system, then what will be the power of equivalent delta connected system? The options are P, 3P, P by 3, none of the above. The answer is P. Why? Because the power in both of the connection is same either it is connected in star or delta. The formula for power of a star or delta is shown below. If you like this video, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe Rough Book.